what's going on you guys so what do you get for six hundred thousand dollars here in byron center michigan and we are super excited to bring you this house it's absolutely beautiful let's get in let's go All right, you guys, this is stunning. Um, when you walk into this hearth side by Eastbrook, you are immediately granted with very tall ceilings. Um, looks like we've got an office right to our left and it just feels open and spacious. Yeah. No, Eastbrook is a semi-custom spec home builder here in West Michigan. And they do an amazing job. They really do. You'll, you'll see, as we go all through, throughout this house, the types of finishes they use, it, it's, it's really nice, yeah, especially for what you would consider a spec home builder. So let's kind of go through and we'll kind of show you some of the best features of this house. Let's go. All right, so on our way to the kitchen is this huge sitting great room. Now you guys can do multiple different things with this. You know, there is a family room downstairs. There's more we're gonna show you guys upstairs. You could put a TV here or this can just be a sitting room. Um, Ross, <laughs> what do you like about this? <laughs> so, I am picturing myself as a kid, and if you look up here, we have a massive balcony, with, and it's just, it's fantastic. It gives you the essence of how massive this house is. But as a kid, I remember having the little plastic army guys with parachutes on them, and throwing those things off that balcony just would be the highlight of my childhood. Really it would. It has that feel. It does. <laughs> so. Let's go into the Michigan room. This is the bigger Michigan room. This is a 14 by 14. Yeah. This, and this definitely adds a lot to this space. You have your, you have your, say your TV above the uh, fireplace we want on the main level. And this just adds like a little seating room so that you can kind of be separate, but also be connected with everything. Well, and I've been in some of these Eastbrook homes that don't have this room. And honestly, this adds such a bigger feel to this main level. Cause if this was just walled off or it was just a deck, it would not have the same feel. Yeah. So this is really nice feel. It's got, you know, the V vaulted ceilings in here. It looks like they did some shiplap. You know, it just has a really nice feel to it. All right, so another thing, when we talk about semi-customizable floor plans, they can actually take this Michigan room and they can shift it over behind the dining room. So say you have a large family and you like to have big Thanksgiving, big Christmas, and you want to have a massive table, you can actually put this Michigan room in the dining room, which we're going to show you here in a minute, and then extend everything right on up. All right, so right now, I mean, the dining room feels nice and spacious. It's not massive, but like Ross said, with being able to shift that uh, Michigan room over, you could have a lot larger table in here. Now. Obviously with this open field, we've got the kitchen here. We have a very nice big island. This particular house has uh, quartz countertops, but if you want granite or um, any other type of hard surface countertop, you guys can do that. If you want marble, I'm sure that they can make something like that happen if you're trying to go fancy. Um, now, appliance packages with these homes are going to be an option that you guys choose. And you can either choose super high-end appliances or you can choose middle-of-the-road appliances. This particular model has nice GE appliances. I love this double oven. <laughs> yeah. And I know anybody that likes to cook, like my mom and my sisters, would absolutely love this double oven. Absolutely. Um, kind of coming over here, you're gonna have a very nice stone backsplash these you know that's one thing with eastbrook is they put high quality materials in these homes so this is not a cheap run-of-the-mill home um, you've got a very nice uh working vent for your built-in stove top so it is a very nice feeling kitchen <laughs> now i don't i don't want you guys to get overwhelmed with okay so that we got this three thousand square, square foot house i have no idea what it, what it means to actually decorate something like this because they actually have an interior designer team, which is gonna help you with the finishes, colors, everything that goes inside the house. They actually have a whole team that's gonna help you walk you through step by step. And we have it right now where there are people moving here from out of state and we actually set up a time for them to fly in because finishes are interesting. They can look different on video and picture, but you really have to see it for yourself. Yeah. So we always recommend whenever you get something like this under contract and you get to the design phase, you really need to have these finishes in your in hand and actually see them for yourself 
to know what they really are. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree. Um, and that's the one nice thing about most of the builders here in Michigan is they do have studios for you guys to come and pick your finishes out where they have samples of all the finishes. Um, now let's say that you guys choose to go with a very custom builder that might not have that stuff. More, most of the time we're going to go from each individual store to pick out your finishes. Um, so really it is a fun experience building a house here and Ross and I have done a lot of this stuff. So feel safe that if you guys want to build a brand new home here, we're, we're going to be able to make it happen. Absolutely. So let's go check out the master bedroom. So one thing I absolutely love about the hard side model is that it has a main level master suite. Now for a lot of people, you want to have, a lot of people really like having a two story but they like the functionality of a ranch. And I believe when you have a, a main level master suite in a two story, you get the best of both. Because not only are you able to maximize your space based on the same foundation size, but you're able to, as you age, not have to do stairs, not have to bring furniture up and down. And this also has a main level laundry and a, an upstairs laundry as well. So yes. there's two laundry rooms in this house. Which is helpful for the kiddos. Yep. Now, Obviously when you have kids and you have a house that does not have a master suite, your main bathroom is usually has toothpaste everywhere <laughs> and just the kids like this, right? So in this house, you have a beautiful master bath ensuite. So when we're talking about being able to customize stuff, you can customize stuff in a big way with Eastbrook in these. So if you want heated floors, you can get heated floors. You know, obviously this one is equipped with tile showers, but you can choose, you know, if you want that marbled floor in there, you can have that marbled floor. Um, you're also going to find in these is a big, large closet. So plenty of room for all you ladies shoes or men. I, I have more clothes than my wife does. So, you know, I like a big closet too. So. It is very spacious in here. All right, so I'm gonna go upstairs. Ross is gonna go downstairs. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, so the upstairs is equipped with three large bedrooms and a very large bathroom that is shared with these bedrooms. Now the really cool thing is when you walk up here, you get to see everything. So if you've got your little army guys like Ross likes, you can throw those over the edge, you know. And then there is a very nice sitting room here up on this upper level so this either can be used for a playroom you know it can be used for a reading room sitting room could be used for an office whatever you guys want so now you're going to come in you have you know plenty of closet space in three very large bedrooms All right, so we are in the basement. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is that this is actually a 10 foot high ceiling in the basement, which is, I would say, kind of uncommon, right. even for a custom built house. Usually you're probably at eight foot finished ceiling height. This is almost 10, probably like nine foot, because you have all the other. Well, one of the things to think about is your terrain. I yeah. mean, every house is gonna be different. This probably had to have these 10 foot ceilings in order to make it work with the grade up top. So that is something to think about. Each house is going to be different. So if you want these deep ceilings, we gotta pick the right, yep. the right lot. And that's a good point to bring up though. When you're building houses in Michigan, there could be some places that have a higher water table than others. And you might not be able to get a walkout basement like what this one is. Right. You might only be able to get a daylight. You might not have just a full basement. Other stuff you gotta notice down here in the basement is that there is ample storage space on this side. In this storage base, you have the options where you could even do a home gym over on this end. And if you notice, it goes all the way down to the other end of the house. So when we're walking through here, another option to keep in mind whenever you do a new build is kind of have a plan what you want the basement to be. If you want a bathroom or you want a wet bar, that all that stuff needs to be decided ahead of time because it's gonna save you a heck of a lot more money than trying to have to tear out concrete. Now, with this floor plan, this particular model, it's actually designed this way because then you can put a wet bar right here against this big wall. Now, on the other side here, we're gonna have a, we have the plumbing, the rough plumbing for an additional bathroom. So over here, obviously it's not finished, but it is plumbed for another bathroom and another bedroom down here. All right, guys, so this is the harsh side. We really want to hear what you guys think of this. Does this 
interest you this type of floor plan or would you guys like ranches better you know everybody's different but yeah. one thing that ross and i are going to be doing is doing a ton of these house tours for you guys that way you guys really get to know what different price ranges here in michigan um, you're gonna have to spend to get a house and i would bet that a lot of you especially from california um you know even parts of florida uh any of the bigger cities are going to find you get a lot for your money here in michigan absolutely now always take into account whenever you're looking at new builds it's gonna be roughly 10 percent more than what it would be for a existing pre-built house right. and in addition if you guys are interested in any of these eastbrook eastbrook homes Reach out to us first because we have the best contacts at Eastbrook and we'll be able to set you guys up right and also to make sure that you are you guys are protected going through this process. And we did make a video which we'll link up here um, that goes over the building process here in Michigan because if you're watching this, make sure that you guys reach out to us first if you're going to build a home or and for or if you guys are going to move here in general, make us your first contact because we know exactly what it takes to relocate here to Michigan or if you want to make a move here in Michigan. Absolutely. Um, Cause word of warning, if you reach out to a builder without us, they will cut us out and you will be on your own. I know that might not sound scary, but we have had quite a few people <laughs> here locally that reached out to the builder before us and they're having issues with the building process cause we are not involved. Yep. All right, guys, we really appreciate you watching our very first house tour video. Um, if you guys liked this, please smash that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time we put a video out. Um, and if there's anything else you guys want to see of West Michigan, make sure you throw it down in the comment sections. Um, until next time. We love you. Bye.